<laughs> and now it's time for another check on our first warning yes. weather with meteorologist Jim Cyan, and he has a new shiny camera he would like to show us. You know, the first, camera shot. the first person I saw today when I came in at 4 a.m. was our IT manager, David Rush. And I said, what's David doing here? Well, it turned out Love our entire, oh, I know, isn't he the best? Our entire engineering staff, or most of them, and the IT staff were here actually doing maintenance, you know, taking care of some stuff, because you can't do that at a TV station because we're on the air all the time during yeah. the day. Well, one of the things they were able to do overnight was get our camera back. This is the Shellmet camera. had a little glitch, but you're looking at it live right now, looking toward the city of New Orleans there on your right-hand side of the screen. You can see that skies are mainly clear. That's a wonderful shot. So, Shellmet, good morning. How do you do? You're back on the map. And thanks again to our IT staff and engineering department for getting that uh, camera back up and running because we're going to love showing you that one, especially in the mornings. Because I tell you what, if it's foggy tomorrow morning, that camera is really going to show it to you. All right, here are your temperatures, close to 80 degrees. Very comfortable right now. Humidity, well, it's actually going to be going down a little bit, I think, by later on today because of the wind. The wind from the north-northwest at 5 miles per hour. And I know, that's not an overly strong wind. But the fact that the wind has a northerly contingent to it, when it's from the north-northwest, north-northeast, it's usually a little bit drier. So I think that dew point is going to be going down by this afternoon. Skies mainly clear right now, and that's the way they're going to stay all day today. High pressure at the surface controlling the weather. And there it is, a cold front way out there in the Gulf of Mexico. Surprising that that cold front made it that far south. It's probably becoming stationary right now. But we saw something else happen yesterday in the afternoon. The air at the upper levels got a lot, lot drier. The orange that you see here on the water vapor imagery, that's extremely dry air. That air is going to stay pretty dry over the next few days because you don't see a lot of moisture. That'll be on the increase. So sunshine is going to be abundant and sure with the sunshine will warm up close to 90 degrees today. Our computer model showing us that every community probably right around 90 with the exception of the lakefront, which will be in the low to mid 80s. But then tomorrow morning, maybe a little bit foggy should not be overly thick. But I think along the south shore close to the coast, that's where the fog is going to be the thickest. I would say Homa. Galliano, that's probably where we're going to have visibility less than a mile first thing tomorrow, but the fog should burn off quickly. Tomorrow afternoon, maybe a few more clouds because our winds becoming more east to southeast release souls, a little more moisture close to the surface. Some low level cumulus clouds tomorrow afternoon. Tuesday morning, going to have a bit of a breeze. So I don't think Tuesday morning is going to be overly foggy, but later in the week, the fog comes back for us. Looking for rain, not going to find much over the next seven days. Here we are Wednesday, Thursday. Friday, a long-term forecast showing us that, sure, there might be some rain in the northern portion of the state. But after we got the rain yesterday and we've been kind of wet for the first couple of weeks of May, we're in for a dry stretch, we think, over the next five, six, seven days. Sunny skies, warm, a little bit humid today, but not overly so. High temperature in the upper 80s. Tonight, fog is going to come back for us about 3, 4, 5 a.m. Be thickest toward morning, should burn off pretty quickly. Don't think it's going to slow down the morning commute. But when you get up in the morning, make sure to turn on WDSU. You know we're on the air at 4.30. Meteorologist Damon Singleton will be checking all the visibilities for you. Mostly sunny, warm, and a bit more humid tomorrow with a high temperature close to 90. But the rain chances staying very, very low. We'll increase them to 10% Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. But the morning fog later in the week, I think, is going to start to get thicker again, especially Friday and Saturday. That's your WDSU first warning forecast.